Hello everyone, welcome to Ultima Online. I'm Colonel RPG, and I'm very happy to have you here with me as I try out, I've been trying out this game for a little while, uh, but I try it out on camera, and uh, I want to thank Philip so much for uh, requesting this game, for requesting me to play. Uh, of course, he's a patron, very, very generous patron, and uh, decided to use his patronage to ask me to, uh, to play this game, and uh, he's been very, very patient with me, because this game well, it's a world in and of itself. This is Ultima Online from 1997, uh, released originally from uh, or by Origins, or Origin? Origin Systems. That's the name of the company that uh, was later absorbed into Electronic Arts, and Electronic Arts is still keeping the game up. Can you believe that? After 23 years, 23? Yes, 23 uh, last September. So yeah, let's uh, let's jump right into it. During the earliest span of the Age of Darkness, found in the writings of only the most aged of manuscripts, lived a world born of mystic arts and ancient sorcery, Sosaria. Despite Sosaria's enchanted origins, its people shunned magic for its very use corrupted the souls of the unwary. But one man dared to awake the slumbering powers of alchemy, twisting the awesome power of the gem of immortality to his will and binding all of Sosaria to his corruption. Mundane, the wizard. His power was absolute as the whole of the planet was gripped in his cruel embrace. Only the appearance of a stranger saved Cesare from impending destruction. From whence he came, no one knows, but his strength and courage were without peer. In this stranger lay Cesare's only hope. Only a traveler from the stars could release this world from Mondain's vile stranglehold. He would prove himself a savior, shattering the gem of immortality and defeating Mondain. But a deeper and more sinister evil was released with the destruction of the gem. For Cesaria was not free of the stone's power. The planet was still bound to the jewel's magic even as it lay shattered upon the floor of Mundane's castle. For within each shattered remnant of the jewel dwelled a perfect likeness of Sosaria. Thus is the world in which you are born, live, and die. Britannia that was once Cesaria now exists as a thousand worlds, each with its own peoples, history, and destiny. This Britannia is but one of many in the multiverse that is Ultima Online. So there are still a lot of servers, and I'm in Portugal right now, so the latency is going to change a little bit depending on uh, how far away the server, the server is. Athlantic is the most populated, and I've been to the other ones, uh, well, I've been to these two, and they're not really very much populated, and uh, we're just going to join Atlantic. As you can see, I was already playing another character, so let's create one, and... Uh, Let's go through character creation. So there are three races. I'm not really sure if the Gargoyle in particular was uh, because of a DLC or anything. 
but uh, yeah, we are gonna play as an elf. Let's go with that. Exceptional vision even at night. That sounds good. Resilient skin has an increased capacity to resist damage. That is also pretty good. Oh, from energy attacks, you know, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, difficult to track. Increased perception. Wise in nature. Let's go with that. Uh, let's uh, let's be female. And uh, that is a really cool armor, all things considered. Let's go into our profession. For the longest time, I had didn't have to play a si well, I didn't have to play any game, but I didn't play a single game that used the word profession for class. Uh, but MMO, uh, MMOs started using them, I think because of this game in particular. Profession is the class system in the Ultima games, as far as I know. Uh, and of course, Ultima being a super influential series, super, super influ influential, including being responsible for the creation of the JRPG genre. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with the swordiest of swordsmen. Can I have that? A samurai it is. The samurai is an elite warrior who seeks to achieve perfection through battle. They strike with great accuracy, can handle multiple opponents, which is good, and uh, have mastered the art of parrying with weapons. It's pretty good, I like that. And we can also customize it. Mm. Nice. Let's go into it. So, strength, dexterity, or intelligence. We can be dumb. It's all fine. Ooh, this is one of those systems where it's like a thing. Uh, so what do I want? It doesn't tell me what strength and dexterity do, so you're supposed to know, know that yourself. I'm gonna go with the extra... If I did the same. We're gonna be dumb as bricks. It's fine. Uh, and then we got Bushido, which is probably like for... I assume it's for class-specific uh, abilities and whatnot. Why are you taking away my Bushido? That's not okay. Also, I don't know what focus is, although it might have to do with uh, channeling spells and whatnot. There we go. No focus for me. Uh, do I want to go higher on... Yes, I do want to go higher on swordsmanship. That sounds like a good time. Okay, that is our class. We also have different skills. A tremendous amount of different skills. This game, from what I've played, is uh, meant for you to just bury yourself in it and just, you know, just play all day. Uh, there's a lot of the quests are very focused on, um, well, a lot of the early, early quests anyway are very focused on you going from one place to another, and it is long. So this this uh, let's play or this this video is going to be very heavily edited, and uh, because you're you're going to see. So let's let's go into an, a, well creating our faces. Uh, we have three faces. No, we have many faces. They look like they're looping. I like that one. I look. I like face uh, eight without a space. Uh, let's see what we are going to get in our skin tone over here. We have a very ashen. I like those. I like these as well. I, um, how about that one right there? Nah, this one. This one is good. I like this one right there. Uh, and for our hair color, I'm going to go with no hair. We don't have hair. That is a problem. Ooh, I can't rotate the character, unfortunately, as far as I can tell, anyway. Uh, long feather. I like that. We're not going to see it because we are very, very far away. Well, we're not very far away, but uh, let's go with a long feather. It's nice. Uh, the thing is, when you're playing the game, you are far away from your character, but you have the, the paper doll. That isn't a paper doll because this is clearly modeled. So we are now choosing our location. We're going to start in New Haven. Uh, it, cause it's just the easiest one. It's a great, yeah, I, I, I tried playing in other places. I think I started in Britain and I went into Minoc and uh, terrible things happened and I was lost a lot of the time. Uh, but, uh, that is how we work. Our name is gonna be Garriott in honor of the creator of the game. Well, not really creator, the original producer, the producer, Richard Garriott. Uh, and I believe he was also responsible for Ultima 8. So... We are using the Enhanced Client, and uh, people may say that it's bad, and I think I they are totally okay to understand the game better than I can. I can't understand the game, so let's uh, let's go with it. We can change these. It's fine. I thought I had edited everything. Tip of the day. Yeah, that's it's fine. What? Let's actually see, because I need tips. There are many advanced, uh, many advanced interface options that are tied to the right mouse button. That's true. That's true. There's a lot of things that happen. Turning off the legacy targeting option in the user settings will enable you to take advantage of the targeting features, such as maintaining a current target and accessing additional targeting options in the hotbar. That's kind of cool. So anyway, the way this works, we have the town cry over here. New veteran rewards are here, complete with a redemption gump. Check out the new monster statuettes, enhanced enchanted granite cart, power tools, and the awesome war boar ethereal mount. 
that sounds like all very too advanced for me. And this is all for people, I assume, the, that uh, know how to play the game. Uh, double click to... Oh, there's people asking for help. That's nice. Oh, anyway, so how this works is we have our inventory over here. We have our paper doll. You can change it all around, and it's amazing. And uh, I'm not really... And this is the character thing. Uh, let's see. So if I press tab, I circle through the characters on screen, and that's it. That uh, I think there is a way to show... That's the way to show. Yeah, you can see everybody that is on screen right now. Double click on me for help. Sir Her Helper, the profession guide. Really? Welcome to New Haven. You seek profession help. You have come to the right place. To learn more about the profession training New Haven has to offer, seek out the following guild masters. Thank you very much. You're very nice. Oh, for the Ahochi is the samurai one. Samurai profession can be, can be learned. Well, I have the profession already. Look at the people. People are running about. Uh, let's let's us ourselves run about in its right click. Oh my god, look at me. Look, I have a hat. I didn't realize I had a hat. I look good. We have Ingram over there, the bard. We also have Asa, the animal trainer. He's a quest giver. And I double click on him, and uh, this happens. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to happen like this, but I'll order things to look a little bit better. Uh, so years of patience and meticulous study have paid off. New animal trainer techniques have been discovered. Animal trainer uh, tamers may now train their pets, teaching them new ways to fight. The first step is to tame a creature. Find a creature in the wild using your animal taming skill and tame it. That sounds like an easy time. A step closer to mastering animal training. Yes, this is good. I will uh, accept your animal training, and uh, that is Lady Midnight Dreams, the Mystic. That's all character. That's all players, I believe. Uh, but we need to find monsters because we must uh, kill them with our sword. And I wait a minute. That's not a sword. That's a book. What is wrong with me? Rune Blade. Oh, maybe that's a book because I'm. It's got spells. Got the virtues over here, but that's different. That's that's like the main center point of uh, Ultima. Skills, maybe. Magic Bushido is the main skill of the samurai and embodies the very essence of honorable combat. With it, the Book of Bush and the Book of Bushido, mind you. The samurai can perform a variety of special abilities that are defensive in nature, but can be used to quickly and honorably defeat the toughest opponents. That's I. That's that's that's. Oh wait a minute! There's somebody outside. That is a very interesting under understanding of what Bushido is. Uh, such an exciting time to be an animal trainee. Wait a minute. Why are you? He's the trainee. No, he's another trainer. Find a creature in the wild. Uh, go away. Go away as well. You can right click on on uh, on screens to to make them go away. Oh, that guy's murdering people or something. I'm not 100 percent sure. I, it's fine. We we have somebody over here that definitely needs help. I have a debt I need to be to pay off at the bank. Do you know the way there? I do not, but that's not a problem. Uh, I need, it's the New Haven Bank. We shall go. And this is what I'm telling you about. It's uh, the the escorts are slow, and uh, you're supposed to find your way around. Let's open the map. Uh, let us uh, actually bring this down here. Maybe better. Uh, and uh, let's look around for the map for the bank. It's right there. Very easy to find. Uh, it's better than my... Oh, I'm, I I can't find the way very easily, though. Uh, it's better than my first escort mission. Because uh, it told me to go to the carpenter. And I was like, what? Who's the carpenter? I didn't... I don't even... And here is the bank. You need to open the door. Ooh! Gold. We have arrived, I think, the Garriott. I have no further need to, of thy services. Here is thy pay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, there's a lot of people that are just uh, exclamation marks. We have a mage over here. Do you know anything about inscription? I do not. I've been trying to get my hands on some handcrafted recall scrolls for a while now, and I could really use some help. I don't have a scribe's pen, let alone a spell book with a recall in it, or blank scroll, so there's no way I can do it on my own. How about you, though? I could trade you one of my old leather-bound books for some. Uh, five recall... That, yeah, this is the origin of, of uh, MMOs and fetch quests. I have the impression are where it's at. Um, and uh, sure, I can do that. I mean, it's fine. Um, so, we're going south because I know there's some bad people down there. It's it's uh, it's not a good place. And uh, look at how my focus skill is increasing. That has probably to do with the fact that I am focusing. I'm not really sure how. Uh, but we have some monsters over here, if I remember correctly. The first time I played the game, I almost got killed by them. 
And then a, a very nice magic person came in. Oh, there's somebody in there. Did you see? A very nice magic person came in and uh, helped me out and healed me. Wooden wall. No, not the wooden wall. The wooden... There you go. You must rest three minutes before we set out uh, on this journey. Really? N what? No, I don't rest three minutes. I think I know what's going on. Field of energy. He's been kidnapped or something. And that is indeed a wall. And there's no doors over here. How do I get there? There's a very sudden change of soundtrack and, and that, that scares me. Oh! Okay. What is that? A sheep. A sheep shall not kill me. I am okay with sheep. <laughs> How do I get in there, though? There's a lot of quest givers here to the east. Maybe they know something about the, the terrible place with terribleness. What is that? Why, why are you? Why, why is bad? Hey, buddy. Looking for work? I am. Yes. Open paper roll. No. Double click. Truth be told, the only way to get a feel for the bow is to shoot one. And there's no better practice than target a sheep. Oh, don't do that. Don't kill the sheep. I don't want to kill the sheep. Fair enough. The bow isn't for everyone. It is definitely not for me. I'm a samurai. A great adventurer. Oh, yeah. Size. I think bow crafting is a might beyond my talents. Say there, you look a bit more confident with tools. Can I persuade thee to make a few arrows? You could have my satchel in return. A satchel? That sounds good. Tis useless to me. Well, I wonder what the satchel is for. You'll need a fletching kit to start. Some feather. Okay, I don't. I don't have the fletching kit. Thank you. I oh, will just keep trying. Yes, you will. You'll have to, cause double click the dummy to practice your fighting skills. Really? I can't reach that. That is true. Man, the sheep sound like they're dying. There we go. And now we're fi we're practicing our fighting skills. Are we? You have to wait until it stops swinging. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, and, and really annoying. But that's why I tell you. It's, um... I can't reach that. Yes. Maybe if I... Let's start combat mode. And now... Do I have a, a sword? If I, if I want to move to another house... Oh, that's other people. You're too far away to do that. Oh, I mean, and I really need to be on top of it, don't I? That's a punch. What a weird training thing. They got like a cooldown. Unbelievable. And of course, there we go. We are not in combat anymore. There is a bear over there. And it's a grizzly bear. Which means I will die. Because I'm not samurai enough. Uh, let's actually look at our... At our... So we got a dagger. We also have these things. Hopefully they're friends. I doubt it. So we got a candle and a book and a dagger... And as for our weapons, what... Oh, you can take your clothes off. Uh, as for our weapons, what are we looking at? I think it's the book. So if I take the book of... Mich yeah, it is. So maybe because I, I'm good at parrying. Oh, I can't have the book on my offhand. I really wish I could. But apparently I can not. Uh, you must have both hands free to wield this weapon. Oh... Really? Character abilities, talisman, character sheet. So, lock, paper, scroll. No, I kind of was wondering if I could have... Um... Yeah, look at those. Those are cool. I was... Wait a minute. Who killed this sheep? I didn't kill this sheep. Was it the imp? I didn't... I wasn't looking. Is there another sheep? There's wolves. There's a pirate over here. It's not pirates, it's just boats. Let's look at the map a little bit more, because this thing is enormous. Look at the look at the size of this. This is like a, a full all an island. Oh, that's the Statues of Virtues, I think. A statue of Helios waiting the sunrise to the east. I can't reach that. No, it, it's not. You're not supposed to fight it. But I can't do anything with it either. There's a timber wolf. Murder. There's the one. Double click. Oh, oh yeah, I'm murdering it. Why is there no combat soundtrack, though? This worked while, well. This this is going so much better than the, the first time I played the game. So I can't reach that. I wonder what I can do to the, the corpse. So the corpse doesn't actually have any... That's a cool screen over here. That's a really cool screen. Let's right-click here. 
Oh, but the, that's right. Okay, so let's go into user settings here and see if our interface, legacy chat targeting, legacy chat, so all of that is disabled. Always attack is a really good one. While in war mode, your character will automatically attack any mob. That's much better than, than uh, timing it. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, there's probably tricks to timing it better. But I just, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I don't know how that works. Uh, so, what I'm wondering, though, is that there's probably a, a specific skills for trade. Like skinning and that sort of stuff. But I don't think there are. There's custom skills? Wow, that's cool. Musicianship. That's so many skills. That's cool. <laughs> I see. What is that? It's a cougar. I definitely will die. Look at that. They did away with the soundtrack. Which makes sense, because if this game is, is as uh, intent on you... Let's go. There we go. Uh, is, it, is, it, is as intent on you, uh, you know, playing it over and over all day long, then it makes sense for the soundtrack to only show up every once in a while. Although I imagine most people will just listen to other stuff while they're doing it. With their Winamp, it really whips the llama's ass. Am I right, folks? Okay, this cougar is kicking my ass. It's whipping my ass. Okay, I think I killed it. No, I did not. There's a panther on the air, on the other side. Low life, I am... Don't call me names. I did it. I did it. Okay. Let's stop war mode, because this is not war. This is me dying a lot. Let's look at our skills and see how my, f not fencing, swordsmanship, that's going. You can lock your skills. That probably has to do with the fact that, uh, that you know, you need to make a build. That's really good that you could lock, that you can lock your, your skills. Morrowind should have this. And Oblivion as well. Because one of the problems with Morrowind's um, character development system is that you just level up stuff that you don't want to level up. Just through normal things, especially uh, athletics and acrobatics. Well, mostly athletics, though. There's a squirrel in this house. No, no, you do not. You do not murder me in such way, sir. I am a lowlife, don't you see? So we should start trying to tame an animal. And if we're going to tame an animal, a sheep is probably a good place to start. They're already tamed, you know what I mean? So, what happens here? Tame. Why can't I tame you? I'm so nice at taming. I don't know. Oh, there it is. You have no chance of taming this creature. Maybe the squirrel would be better. But the squirrel is being attacked by the terrible spectral spellbinders. Okay, let's open that door. Can't reach that. Yes, you should auto-move, probably. Don't do that. I mean, if you're going to tame something, a squirrel is probably not it. Seriously, those spent... The spellbinders are the worst. They are killing my squirrel. The squirrel is fighting bravely. I mean, oh my god, the squirrel's on fire. I am not... That is uh, demonetized. That is... I... The YouTube doesn't like that. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh, we got zombies over here. These guys are even worse than the cougars. Oh no. Yeah, those are the ones that I fought the first time when I was learning the game. I mean, I say learning the game. What is really... What is learning the game, right? Anyway, first thing, I want to heal. How do I do that? Maybe this fella is going to help me. While this, the Driven. That is a mount and a half. Did you see that? Anyway, I'm regenerating, so I could uh, might as well just regenerate. I do have a skill called healing. Use the healing skill. Use of the healing skill will allow you to heal yourself or other players if you are successful in your efforts. That skill cannot be used directly. Well... Yeah, but like that zombie wants to kill me. Let's let's run away a little bit. Just just in case it, it, it actually manages to. I need to double click on a bandage. Oh so I need bandages first. Probably should buy that, because I have a lot of gold. You can't bandage yourself with gold. Maybe somebody in the healers of New Haven Oh, hi! No, are you healing me? No, you're you're doing something to yourself. Gross. What is that? Elven shirt. I appreciate this elven short. Short short not short. It's very tall, in fact. Can I take it? Yes, I can. I think I can. Look at it. Did you see how I dragged it? What is it? Elven 
Elves only. Strength requirement of 10. I'm good. I have that. I'm an elf. Right? Can I not use that? Oh, I think I might have. Might be using it already. Yes. Somebody stripped naked. I'm not going to strip naked. I'm a very good girl. Either way. Selena, the messenger. Wait. You... Easy gold? What is it? He's a noble. So, you know, don't don't trust him. I fear my talent for music is less than my desire to learn. Uh, tell me about it. Yet still, I would like to try. Can you take me to the local music shop? Sounds like a fun time for everybody involved. Let's do that. Unfortunately, I have no idea where that is. So, uh, it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a problem. But we're, we're going to make through. We just need to keep an eye out. Because it's bards that we want. Can you do away with that? Thank you. Come here. Are you following me? You better not get stuck on things. You got the healing instructor over there. Okay, that's good news, because that is why we're here. Let's open that. And, uh, hello. Did I get heal automatically? No, it's just the sound here. Head east out of town and go to the to Old Haven. Heal yourself and other players until you have raised your healing skill to 50. That is the description of this quest. Welcome to my humble practice. I am Avicenna New Haven's res resident healer. A lot of adventurers head out into the wild from here, so I keep rather busy when they come back bruised, bleeding, or worse. I can yes, if you die, you need to come over here to get resurrected. I think there's there's, there's a shrine. I think or it's something. I can ask me how I know. I can teach you how the to bandage a wound. Sure, but it's not a job for the queasy. For some folks. The mere sight of blood is too much for them, but it's something you'll never you, you'll that's something you'll get used to over time, unless you fight undead and never get hit. In which case, maybe that wouldn't be the thing. So, the best way to practice fixing up wounds is to head out east to Old Haven and either, either practice binding up your own wounds or practice on someone else. Uh, can I get? I would really like. I'll actually get that. Sure, but I would really like you to give me. What is that? Oh, that's mine. Uh, to give me. Um, bandages. <laughs> Maybe Ween knows what's going. She's invulnerable. Ween, I can do no more for you at this time. No, I don't need you to do things. Give me bandages. Maybe they. Maybe those are bandages. <gasps> those are bloody bandages. I don't care. Can I take those? Clean bandages. No, nope, cannot take those. Oh well. Let's try to find the music shop then. That's a dinosaur. That you can't fool me. That's a that's a dinosaur. I don't like dinosaur. I mean, I like I kind of like dinosaurs, but not in my life. Go away. Are you upset, eagle? Go away. Very low flying eagle. Gabe the groom. Gabe, what's up? I see you already have an escort. Well, thank you very much. You guys need escorts as well. And uh, Walker, the tracking instructor. Then I get, he actually trains me. I think that's how you spend the skill points. Oh, ninjutsu? Or ninjutsu, rather. Yes. Oh, that's for... Right. That's uh, that's that's for hiding. Because that's what ninjas do, as we all know. It's a very a historical take on it, but it's fine. So if there's going to be a music shop, I would say it's probably around here. In the middle of town. There's a place called Bag of Many Things. I don't expect the bard to be in there, but I might be able to, excuse me, the provisioner, to buy some bandages, you know? Can I talk to you? Desmond the provisioner. But not that guy. Who is going to prov provide me with things? Oh, there's somebody with an exclamation mark over here. This is potentially good. Look at all these things. The art style is really interesting. It, you can tell that they were going for realism, and, uh, you know, it's, it's tricky to do realism. Who's this person? Oh, how I wish I had a fancy dress like the noble ladies of Castle British. I don't have much, but I have a few trinkets I might trade for it. I would mean, it would mean the world to me to go to a fancy ball and dance the night away. Oh, I could tell you how to make one. You just need to use the sewing kit on enough cut... Eh, on enough cut cloth. That's that's pretty straightforward. I need a fancy dress. You know what? And I'll get some things. That sounds like it's all old, but it's it's all fine. Oh, this is the mayor. Excuse me. 
Good day, friend. I am Anzer, leader of New Haven. As you can see, many things have changed in this city. Much of the island has sunken beneath the waves, and the old city lies ruined to the southeast. The refugees have told us of the great destruction that engulfed their homes, and all we can do is offer them shelter. You may notice that our village lacks the look of one rebuilt from the ruins. It is true, we and our very city are not from this time. The same forces that destroyed the island seem to have altered our own fates as well. We have been advised not to speak much of these things at great peril, for we must preserve the past to ensure our future. Now then, please, our city is at your disposal. If you seek friends from the old city, you might wish to visit the inns or the infirmary. May the virtues guide your path. Thank you very much. I was looking for, for bandages, actually. <laughs> Uh, but that has to do most likely with uh, the fact that they need a, uh, probably, uh, like, I imagine it has to do with the fact that it's uh, an MMO and they need towns to live in sort of isolated timelines and stuff like that. Because, you know, there's players finishing the game right now, uh, and uh, and I'm here at the beginning, so I'm isolated from time. Let's go to the gentle rest and uh, see if I can find a bard in there. This is the innkeeper. Who's this person? It's a messenger. No bar down here. Maybe I should have my mobiles on. Let's go upstairs. No, upstairs is just where we sleep. I would think. Yes. They have two innkeepers, I think. Well, maybe the innkeeper is going to tell me. No, that's the chef. No, the team, the innkeeper is definitely not going to tell me anything. I don't think you can talk to these people. Like, it, nothing happens if I double-click on them. How about this, sir? Ma'am, I need some potions before I set out for a long journey. Can you take me to the Alchemist of Bottled Imp? Oh yeah, I know where that is. So I have two escorts now. How does that work? The other guy didn't want me to escort him because I had an escort already. Let's go to the Alchemist. I think it's here. The roof wanted something. Do I, do I double click? There we go. Thank you very much. We have arrived, I think, the Garriott. Oh, they all say the same thing. Aw. That's a bit of a shame. This lady wanted to say something to me. You must rest five minutes before we set out on this journey. That is weird. Not for the resting, mind you, but, but rather... She doesn't even tell me what journey it is. It's just, you know... It's fine. It's all good. I think you just can't have too many um, escort quests. Basically, that's probably what it is. And look at that. Four minutes. Yeah, I don't. I don't deal with that because I'm, I'm too busy as it is. Ooh, there's a cat over here. Kitty. Can I tame you? Kitty. You start to tame the creature. Here. Will you be my friend? Here. Nice. You failed to tame the creature. No. What does that even mean? I can't tame it anymore. This guy needs to go. Dude, I can't find the bard. I've been looking all over. It just doesn't... He lives elsewhere. Well, I tried my, my taming. We have a wandering healer over here. Hello. I need someone to help me rid of some, uh, what? Rid my home of monk bats. Please take me to the local sword fighter. I can do that. New Haven warrior. Let's do this. I think it's down here. Alexander Dumas. That's an interesting name. The warrior. We're here. There we go. Thank you very much. Now, maybe the bard is down here as well. I'm not actually sure how the game decides to tell me where where people are and whatnot because when I enter new areas they they uh, they show up the names show up Zorn I must give up on your quest can I do that yes I can resign this quest will give you valuable information skills and equipment that will help you advance in the game at a quicker pace are you certain you wish to cancel it yes 
Well, that's a sound. Twice. Yes, I, I understand that I failed my escort quest. But that's mostly because I didn't find the bard. The bard went on a journey. And we are going on a journey as well. Because we... There's a magpie. Maybe a magpie can be tamed. It definitely cannot. Hello, Mr. Magpie. Can I tame you? Yeah, it doesn't... Well, I'll kill you then. I don't think I will. I'm just not fighting the magpie right now. Well, no fighting the magpie then. Oh, what do you want? I, you want me to wait three minutes? I shall not wait three minutes. I shall kill this skeleton instead. And probably die in the process, because these guys are actually pretty tricky. Can you give me that? There we go. So yeah, the magpie apparently cannot be killed. I'll, I'll be better. Maybe we're going to find some... Um, I think it's going to be fine. What is that? Spell... Oh, no. That's the bad ones. That sounds awful. Go away. Okay, we did it. No. Get out of combat mode. Maybe they don't attack you if you're not in combat mode. Ooh, we got gold. Look at us. Okay. I did take a little bit of a beating, but I want to see what we have over here. This is the ruins of the old town, isn't it? There's people. Hey, easy gold. Yeah, two minutes until the easy gold. Wow. To think that... There's a rotting corpse over here. To think that... Uh, bone shards. Sure. That uh, mobile pay-to-win microtransaction techniques already existed 23 years ago. Why did that zombie get up? I didn't make too much noise. But maybe I did. Let's find out. Murder the zombie. Oh, no. Was that an... I hope that wasn't an attack, an attack of opportunity. Because, uh... I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, I'm being called names again. Oh my god. Please hit it. Oh, I failed. Oh, it failed as well. Wow. We're just... Oh, okay. Uh, well, this is this is a crap shot right now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die. I didn't die. Wow. I actually managed to kill the zombie. And it has head. A tribal mask. And another head. What? I don't know what the head is for, but I'll... It's it'll, 10 stones. That's a lot of he stones in your head. This requires 125 strength. Okay, that might explain why I had so much troll. We have a book. We have pen and ink. And an armoire. That doesn't have anything. Should I expect these to have anything? There's bookcases in here. And you can see the contents of them in advance, which means you can see them from afar. Maybe. It seems like you can. Okay. Can I sleep? Ruined bed. I cannot. I mean, it's okay to sleep in a ruined bed if that's the only bed you have. Hey, excuse me. What do you have? What do you want? I have a debt I need to pay off at the bank. Oh, I was just headed there. Mostly because I need to heal. So we're going to the healer. And there we go. Let's see if the healer does indeed heal me immediately, because that was a little bit unintuitive. As in, I didn't ask for it, and I got healed immediately. I'm in the wrong door. Oh, there's a door over here. Excuse me. They do heal me automatically. Very cool. So, let's go do something that I haven't done yet, although I have been to other places. And there's another statue over there. The Arcanist statue. Yeah, it's all the virtues, I believe. I'm not sure. There's a dog back here. If I can tame anything, it's going to be a dog, right? Tame. You start to tame the creature. Don't be afraid. Dog barks at me. Will you be my friend? Oh! <gasps> you have completed an animal training quest. Visit an animal trainee to continue. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just in time. I mean, we don't get a pet, but it's fine. Uh, is that okay? I don't like the, the, any of this. I need the moon gate. Can't reach that. Yes, I realize that. Is the wolf attacking me? I don't like any of this. My god. Excuse me. So, in the moon gate, you can go basically anywhere. And you select this, and you say okay... And uh, let's go to Malice, 
Sounds like a good time. Luna, Umbra. Umbra sounds like a better time. And uh, I definitely want to get killed because it's inside a town and there's no enemies. Uh, I don't like that. I don't know what that is. It looks like a spider. Head crab mix. Umbra has lava, as it turns out. Also, very few people. The Blood Letter Guildmaster. That sounds like a specialization or something. Maybe for me it would be good. The Mistress of Admissions. Oh no, look at the... Oh no, look at all, my god. Excuse me. Train focus. No, can you even talk to me? No, not the oak tree. There you go. There you go. What do you want? Wonderful... Another whining request for a refund on tuition. You know, experiences like that are invaluable and infrequent. Having the opportunity to test yourself under such realistic situations isn't something the college offers all students. Fine, fine. You'll need to submit a refund request from a the form in, tripical, in triplicate before I can return your one... I don't need... A million gold tuition? You'll need to get some signatures and a few odds and ends. What do I get out of this? Do we, I get a million? One tuition... Oh, no. I don't, I don't I don't want... No. Go away. Go away. I, I'm just looking around. Okay. Jackrabbit. Thought, I thought jackrabbits were, were just... Um, you know, a rabbit named Jack. Apparently it's a type of Jack. Sorry, a type of rabbit. I, I don't understand. I don't think I managed... Did I manage to tame it? I did manage to tame it. Click on a person to follow. Yeah, follow me. I have a pet rabbit now. Wow, that's cool. There's also a huge spider over there. But it's a friendly spider. As we know. Let's go elsewhere. With our pet rabbit from Umbra. Will the, will the rabbit follow me though? Well, let's find out. So, I want to go back to Trammel. Let's go to... We could go to Britain. Britain is a big city. It's, uh... Scarabry. Yeah, let's go with that. And the rabbit is with us. Fantastic. Lovely. Now, what kind of terrible enemies do we have in Scarabry? Uh... That's a peasant. That's not an enemy. Uh... That's also not an enemy. Hi. What are you doing? Okay, this game is famous for its PvP system, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's bees! Look, oh no, there's also, okay, that's a slug, or something, I'm not sure, it, uh, it's a dinosaur again. In the north of Scarabry, we have, well, oh, I thought it was like a road. It is not a road, it's like a, it's supposed to be different level. Different different elevations, maybe? The woods are thick in here. I think our pet is going to be left behind. There's nothing up here. It's just a boat. I wonder if I can take the boat. Because there's... I mean... Right? It would make sense. How do I get to the other place? You can't reach that. Yes. Ship. That is true. Oh! There's a tiller man. You cannot pilot a ship unless you are aboard it. Well, and whose fault is that? Wait, I have an opportunity for you to make some gold. Do you? The Wandering Healer. Maybe. I seek a worthy escort. I refuse your worthy escort. Because it seems like that's not most of what the game has to offer in terms of quests. Well, I mean, maybe most. But it, it also has the, you know, bring me ten... Kill 10 rats and stuff like that. There's this person over here. Hello, person. I seek a worthy escort. That's very nice of you. I I, I also seek a worthy opponent because I will kill it. It seems like Scatterbry is n it, a, a, not an island. Also, there's a dog. Can I pet this dog? Not. I mean, I wish I could, but I can't. I can tame the dog, though. And I tamed a dog. Follow. Me. Doggy! Does the dog run? You'd expect the dog to be a little bit faster. But, I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can go. A ro the Royal Engineers have warned of a structure in danger of collapsing near... What? Really? This is... 
city trade minister. They give you coordinates, which is pretty cool, because, you know, you can... You have those coordinates over there. Oh, unfortunately... Unfortunately, the, t the town is indeed an island, and I can't cross. Unless these are... No, these are not... That's not a bridge made of boats, like in Baldur's Gate. No, wait. Is it Baldur's Gate that has a bridge made of boats? Or a district made of boats? I don't remember. Either way, let's go to a different place. I wonder if I can get two dogs. Oh, that's a better way of, of uh, interacting with it. You just click over there. Someone else is already taming the creature. I'm taming the creature. And the dog now can follow me. Actually, let's find out if the other one is... Oh, <gasps> we have two dogs! What could that do, though? Can you tame, like, super powerful creatures and... Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's, it's not a very samurai-ish thing to do, I assume. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Do samurais go around the countryside followed by dogs? I think I lost one of them. Hey. Yeah, the companions, they get stuck. Their uh, pathfinding is, is very limited. Uh, as in, it, it isn't. <laughs> it, there's no pathfinding. There's just, I must follow that direction. Either way, uh, we have two of them over here, and uh, we're going to go to a different place. Not Scarabrai. Scarabrai is like an actual place in Scotland, isn't it? Or is it Ireland? Maybe. Uh, so, let's go to Trinsic. I think I that's where I went to the first time. I didn't come over here. We have a hind? So if you click on it, you can see where I can tame it. Just can't tame it. Maybe I, ha I have reached my limit. Okay, that grizzly bear. Very angry gr grizzly bear. I shall kill it with, with my blades of... No, it's a brown bear. Okay, that's even worse. Uh, the dogs are not following me, though. Or not attacking, because I didn't tell them to guard me. Maybe that's why. But we're killing... Oh, being called names again. We're killing the brown bear. Kitty! Okay. Kill the brown bear. It's unlikely that this will result in success, and it did not. As a ghost, you cannot interact with the world. You cannot touch items, nor can you use them. I know what to do with a ghost. In fact, we're precisely where we need to be in the ghost situation. Because um, there is... You cannot... You cannot do... No, because you just go through the walls. That's right. As a ghost, you just go through wherever you want to go. Uh, we're still in combat, so that might be the reason why I wasn't interacting with the, gold mas uh, the guild master. Oh, you can't go through walls. You can only go through doors. It is possible for you to be resurrected here by this healer. Thank you very much. You look like you need some healing, some of my healing. Thank you very much as well. Uh, and I also look like I need all of my clothes and whatnot. Elven pants. Get my elven pants and my kasa. Or kas... I, I don't know, actually know how to pronounce it. Kitty! A tribal mask. I can't use that. Okay, so we're ready to go. And this... Has an, this person has an adventure uh, for me. It's an escort. I don't need that. I already have done a lot of escorts for today. Felix the Paladin. Excuse me, Mr. Felix the Paladin. Do you not talk to me? What are... That's that's a, that's an NPC. It's not a, a PC. A player character. Either way, that's going to be that for today. Thank you so much for joining me in Ultima Online. Uh, as, uh, yeah, basically, it's, it's all about making your character and leveling your character, and exploring deeper and deeper into the realms of the brown bears that will kill you, because you actually are very bad. Let's look at our skills over here, and uh, see where I where I made it with the amount of uh, amount of, of, of fighting that I did. Where, no, that's combat, yes, we're in the right box. There it is, 50.3, that's as high as I got. That's, I did do a little better uh, in the parrying department. Maybe I should have started with parrying instead of swordmanship, although I don't know. It's it's all in the meta game eventually because uh, there's people who do know, uh, but I don't. It's an enormous game. It's 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 just it's the or it's I I I think it is EverQuest. I think EverQuest is later than this one, so this might be the origin of the genre in a lot of regards uh, of of like conventions and that that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be that for tonight. Or for, it's, for me, it's tonight, but for you, it might be any time of day. Thank you so much, Philip, once again, and uh, thank you for the patience. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.
tame the cow. Can't tame the cow. 